Hello everyone and welcome to my first video tutorial on serial communication. Today I'm going to show you how to use Visual Studio C# -sharp to access the serial port on your computer. Uh, we'll be making uh, this GUI. Uh, I'll be using Visual Studio 2013, but you are free to use any other version as well. So let's get started. Uh, click on New Project and select windows desktop under visual c sharp and then click on windows forms application uh, let's name it as uh, serial i'll just uh, change this location to the desktop and uh, okay Okay, so as we can see here, we have uh, combo boxes here, two of them. We have a progress bar, a few buttons and uh, these are text boxes which have been disabled right now but they'll be enabled when the program executes. So uh, the first thing to be added are these combo boxes. So we'll find combo box in this menu here and uh, I have added two combo boxes. Let me set the property of drop down style to drop down list for both of them. Okay, the next thing to be added is the progress bar. So I have added a progress bar here. Okay, and uh, I'll add two group boxes. Uh, one which will be used for sending the messages and uh, another one will be used for receiving the messages from the serial port. So I'll add a text box now to these uh, group boxes. I'll enable multi-line. Okay, uh, now I'll add a button which will be used to send or receive the data. Okay, so uh, let me just name this group box as send here and uh, I'll name this button as send. I'll make a copy of this group box. And uh, I'll name the other group box as received here and this button as read ok uh, so let me just format this a bit I'll add two more buttons one which will be used to open the port for communication and the other one will be used to close it so uh, let me name this as open port and this one as close port uh, I'll add labels to all of these components here this one will be named as let's say port names I can create another one I'll add this here and I'll name it board rate I'll add another one here and I'll name this as status ok so our basic GUI is ready and uh, now let's start working on the components one by one the first thing which we need to add uh, here is a serial port so i'll just select serial port and i'll drag it on to this form okay we can do one thing we can rename this form uh, i'll go to the text attribute of this form and i'll write down serial communication you can see the name here has changed. Okay, 
so let's right click on it and select view code using system dot io dot quotes this line of code needs to be written down because uh, we are using serial quotes here and uh, I'll just make a function here let's say void get port names or uh, say get available ports I'll make a string array named ports and I'll add to it the available ports uh, which will be used for the communication and uh, what we can do now is we can uh, fill the list for the combo box 1 which will contain the port name so I write down combo box 1 dot items and then uh, since I am adding an array to it I will select add range and I will write down ports here ok now when this form gets initialized right after that we will call the function get available ports so that will uh, fill the available port values to the combo box 1 so let's see what happens we can see here the available com ports have been listed in the combo box 1 and uh, now we can add uh, baud rates to combo box 2 I will just select combo box 2 I will go to this attribute right here items collection I will click on the button there and uh, let me add down a few values for baud rate uh, let me write down just these two I will click on ok and then uh, let's see right here we have these two values and we have the available composites here so that's it for this tutorial I will see you guys next time and if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching